just before 6am local time, an air raid siren sounds. This is what people in northern Japan woke up to, and it's left them rattled. You cannot run away from it. There is no way to run away from it, which is the biggest worry. North Korea's latest missile was fired from Sunan, just outside the capital, Pyongyang. It flew over the northern Japanese island of Hokkaido before breaking into pieces in the Pacific, around 1,200 kilometres off the east coast. Japan's Prime Minister left little doubt how he felt. The missile which passed over our nation represents the greatest and gravest threat to our nation ever. It also is an egregious threat to the peace and stability of the Asia-Pacific region. It's the third time North Korea has sent a missile over Japan. The previous missiles under Kim Jong-il in 1988 and 2009 were claimed by Pyongyang to be satellite launch vehicles, not weapons. In the past few months, North Korea has carried out a flurry of missile tests, heightening tensions between Pyongyang and its neighbours. If North Korea carries out another provocation despite our warning, North Korea will face stern and strong punishment from our military and the South Korea-US alliance. But the threats from Seoul and its allies have so far not been acted on. Still, Pyongyang isn't the only regional power showing its might. Hours after the launch, Japan conducted a drill of its Pac-3 anti-ballistic missile system at the Yokota US military base in Tokyo. And South Korea released video of its own missile test, which it says was carried out last week, suggesting the tensions aren't going to ease anytime soon. Denise Savoya, TRT World.